Xin Chao, what's up everybody? All right, we are at the Saigon Center Market. There's a lot of interesting new things here. I'm gonna try the undercover camera a little bit, even though I got one on my shoulder. We will take a look. Let's take a look. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. A lot of Christian Dior. A lot of, like, Chanel and all this stuff, but no... All last year's models and stuff like that. This stuff's already all out of date. Every one of these. Trust me, I know a bit about bags now when he's all in them. <laughs> These places are increasingly more hard to film actual prices because they see the cameras. So they're definitely going to see the one on my shoulder, so it won't be that effective of a video, but let's see. Ciao. Do you have any Rolexes? Do you have the Pepsi? Pepsi? Pepsi. Yeah, right. How much is just like the blue one? This one, the battery. Yeah, I have a Pepsi. How much is Pepsi? Uh, a little expensive. Let's see. Three million Vietnam dollars. Chào. Yeah. The Pepsi is high quality than this one. Let's see it. Yeah. Let me see it. Fuck, so mang qua, bro. These were 500k all before COVID, like at a high price. You could get them for 300k. These good copies. That's how crazy the market's gone uh, over. Đúng rồi. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm right. The two colors. Uh, blue and red and uh, blue and black. Mm. You see this one? That one's okay. No need to look. It's a Batman. Let's see. Not even that good of a copy. Yeah. It's a terrible so copy too. So like the weight, the weight's not there at all. It doesn't have the, the hand feel even. This is like a 500k at best copy, like for retail. Okay, come on. Come on. At best, like 500k for that. Like at a retail. At retail. So you can, you can kind of see, like you can get that watch for 500k. There's places, we'll try to film it. I'm gonna start showing you guys more prices on the channel and like how kind of crazy it's getting right now with all these places. Oh, there's some dope shades, bro. I like these. These aren't bad. What's up, bro? Hello? Oh, he ain't looking up. Yeah, yeah, what's up? How much are these? 300. 300. Okay. 300. Come on. So that's uh, comparative, 100K is what glasses sell for. So if you really want to know, we can do kind of a price guide. Like traditionally 90% of glasses on a fake market like that are sold for 100,000 dong. Like as a retail sold. So they're buying in at 20K or less because they're buying thousands of pieces. And those are all fakes either made in Vietnam or China. Mostly, almost all made in China. So these are knockoffs. These aren't real products, guys. You have to realize but you're buying fake. all this shit's fake. None of it's real. So like, don't pay more than four or five, six bucks for something that's fake. And none of this stuff is that great. So this is a better market than a lot of the other ones um, as far as quality goes. This and the Russian market probably have the two highest quality. So you can actually like wash this stuff and you can actually use it. But again, <laughs> it's fake. You know, you're not buying, none of this is real. So just keep that in mind when you're uh, bargaining. And even these, you can get these for like 100K, 50K. You can get these Pradas. Anything like the super high end looking ones, it's not real leather. It's a fake synthetic leather. It costs just as much as like a plastic essentially. So like, there's no need to uh, to spend a lot of money here and lose, lose, your, lose your money, dude. 
But like these are bad copies too. These aren't, you know, you can go to other places like Hong Kong had as a really good uh, fake market where the quality is just way better. You've got like third, third runs sometimes, which is actual lines. You sometimes get third line products in here, but they've kind of gone away from that and it's all just gone completely entirely to everything. It's just fake. But like I said, you can get better stuff. But again, you shouldn't pay more than like a million for this, dude. And they're probably gonna ask them like crazy price. They usually won't even give me a price on those when I ask on a streamer with camera. Hi. Because they're scared. They don't like filming here either, the guys would like you too. So there's some panties. If you wanna buy some panties. I wonder how much these Balenciagas are. These are dope. Whose store is this? MY, is this your store? This one? 3.5. Anyway. Okay. So 3.5 for these. And these are fake just like every other shoe here. So, I mean, these should be the same, like 500K tops, because it costs like, you know, 100K, 200K to get. Even if it says Balenciaga, it doesn't make it. It's weird how they get away and start to think that they can be priced more. It's end of the end of the day, still just a fake product. So these are cool. So just be mindful that what you're buying is fake and it's not gonna be comfortable. The fabric's gonna be not that great, especially in Benton market. Here, you're gonna have a much better fabric quality. But again, just don't be spending more than four or five, six, seven, eight bucks on this stuff. If you're talking millions of dongs for anything in here, no. You're getting ripped off. You're buying a fake product for way over, way overpriced, dude. Like, I'll tell you that right now. Let's see. So like, I bought one of these for a subscriber, 300K. Like these, 200K, 100. I've even seen these go as cheap as 150. The bigger ones can go up to three to 400K. Never pay more than three, four hundred k for any of this, like Christian Door or any of that stuff. You start to get like the real prices once you go down. How much are these? Two fifty. Two fifty. That's not bad. Better than the other guy. So already fifty k better than the other guy. Let me take a look. Do you got a mirror? 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 Let's see. <laughs> They're so cheesy. They look like the one guy, Benny Mac. It's okay, come south. Come on, on. Still too much. Eight to uh, twelve dollars for those? No way. A little over. There. Yeah, Roy. So like, huh? How much is like this one? This Christian door, this little one. Two million five hundred. Two million five hundred. Okay. <laughs> I mean, they're so off what market used to be here. It's it's pretty insane, dude. Like you're gonna get taken for a ride here if you do not know what you're doing and you don't negotiate. These are nice, these dusty shorts. Emily, Emily, how much are these? Four fifty. I mean, you're talking cr lunatic prices at this point. I wouldn't buy any of this stuff at these prices. Now you can negotiate. Like if she's at four fifty, maybe four hundred. But they're pretty firm on price here. And, you're seeing a price increase of 100 to 200 percent from just a few years ago. So, <laughs> I mean, it's up to you if you still want to partake in buying this stuff for, for that kind of outrageous of a price. But they're really ramping up with how crazy it's getting. Um, because this is stuff super fake, guys. Like you take a look at this Louis Vuitton, open it. Like the stitching's terrible. You'll find all kinds of stitching like inside that just doesn't match. It goes way off. Like. And after you open the zipper and stick stuff in it, like, and open the zipper and stick stuff in it, the zipper will fall off. You know, it'll immediately break too, so it's not even worth... It's okay value at like $10, $12 for some of the high-end stuff, like the maybe that Christian door bag. That's okay for 12 bucks. But for $3.5 million, she's a delusional, dude. Emily, how much is the Burberry? Yeah, right. That's two years ago. Design. Okay, one minute. Yeah, yeah. I. That's it. This one $85, but we have to discount. Sell up now only $40. Oh, only $40. Yeah. 
One million dong, you mean? Okay, it's okay. Come south. Thank you, though. Why not? Yeah, it's okay. Just looking right now. It's okay. Come south. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you, though. What I'm doing is super rude, by the way. So uh, let me check the video and make sure the video is still going. This camera's been. Uh, I just like to make sure it films. All right, we're good. Cool. All right, let's go back in. So you're seeing, like, I would say a pretty big increase in price. I'm not gonna go keep talking to the vendors, but there's deals to still be had here. Like some of these Rolex, like let's see what his is. Uh, I know. How much is the blue Rolex? Yeah, right. One million five. Do you have uh, Pepsi? No Pepsi. So 1.5 for that one. Is this the nicest Rolex you have? What's the nicest? Let's see what he's got. Oh yeah, this is nice. How much is this one? Three million. Three million. How much is this one? Three million. All three million. Gotcha. So they're all making the same market price. So you could probably get this down to two maybe it depends on how many you buy to okay come on thank you it's all going to depend on how many you buy to so it, it very much so is coming down to price of price of stuff now full four full four they're still out of date they don't even have full five stuff they've got new iphone 15 pro max stuff but i want to see how much like this uh christian Dior bag is ciao g uh how much is this one the dior bag one million four hundred okay Come on, G. What's the discount? One million two hundred. Mm -hmm. How much you can buy? It's okay, come sell. I'm not sure yet which model I want to buy. I was just asking price. I'm looking for my wife, so I have to still look around. One million for you. One million for me. Okay, I will think about it. Let me walk around. Come on. Come on, G. So we got that, as you just demonstrated, that Dior bag there was of the same quality that that other girl tried to get us at 3.5. And we got it down to one. So guys, there is a possibility to find this stuff. You've got to go to each stall. Those high priced ones just walk away from immediately. When they're pitching you on a price of two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight million on anything here, just walk away. It is not the store for you. They're gonna take you for a ride. Some of these places are set up to take as much as possible. That lady back there was running a much more reputable system. She's of course trying to get over on her money, but she's still, not going crazy you know there's a fine line where it's like way over and not way over again if this stuff was higher quality or if it was even real we're talking different on prices but some of the prices they're asking for some of this stuff they're stepping up the actual retail value of a lot of this stuff so when they're starting to talk retail value get out of here so as for the video that's going to be it if you want to see additional content jump on over to the patreon patreon.com forward slash fat and broke there's all kinds of additional stuff on there if you want to watch me live stream on the predator camera on my shoulder that's over at kick.com forward slash fat and broke to be honest with you we need more youtube people to come over and watch me live stream on kick so it'd be greatly appreciated if you did as ever stay frosty we'll see you on the next one peace out